Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. Today, we are going to discuss about SAPSD ABAP debugging only. And in this video, we will see how to check the logic or how the field values getting determined in the sales order or delivery invoice, whatever it may be transaction. Okay, so let me log into SAP first. Okay, so I am going to create one order now, VA01, this document type, and uh, click on uh, sold to ship to customers, sorry, uh, add the sold to ship to customer here, click on enter. I am adding the material now, and click on quantity, enter. Okay, so we will understand in this video how the field values are getting updated into the screen here. For example, here we can see a field called shipping point. Okay, so through the debugging, we will understand how the shipping point will be determined into sales order item level. Before going to debug, how we should do, it should be determining shipping point. First, we should understand the technical details of this field. Okay, put a cursor on this field shipping point and click on F1. If you click the function function keyword F1 and you see the tool icon here, right? Technical information icon. Just click this icon. And after clicking this icon, we see that this uh, data shipping point will be determined from the table VBAP. The field name here is that VSTEL, right? So table is VBAP, field is VSTEL. Right. So now we need to understand how this VBAP VSTL field shipping point field will be updated in the code level. Let's understand that. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me create the order one more time. Okay. Let me go to VA01. Enter sold to ship to customers. Add some dummy PO number and click on add material and order quantity as well. So we should keep one thing in our mind. So when exactly the debugger should be started? Right. So I have added the material and quantity. I clicked on enter. After click on enter, if I go inside that item, now I see the shipping point has been populated already. That means after adding the material and quantity, if you click on enter, add material plus quantity, then click on enter. Then only the shipping point will be determined, right? That means before click on enter, we should debug it. Okay, let me create another one more time. VA01. Add that uh, to ship to customers, add some dummy text in the PO number field add the material and quantity right so i have added material and quantity i didn't click enter yet if i click enter then only shipping point will be determined right so this is the right place we should apply the breakpoint if we are sure from where the shipping point is getting determined then we can apply the breakpoint in that relevant program function models whatever it may be if we don't know the program where it is coming from, then we need to apply slash h only. But most of the times, standard programs, no one almost aware of this. So we should always go with the slash h only. Click slash h. You see now, I added slash h and clicked on enter. After click on first enter, I see debugging has been switched on. If now I click on enter, then only the all the item data will be populated. Item data in the sense, description of the material, the UOM, shipping point, plant, everything, weight, volume, everything will be updated after. I will click on enter now. This is the right place. We should apply breakpoint and debug it. Okay, let me press enter now. Yes, now I clicked on enter. You see the debugger has been getting started. 
fine so in the amap there are two things are there we have seen right vbap table contains the shipping point data the field here is that v s t e l coming to amap terminology in amap we have uh, two or three kind of structures are there structures okay um Okay, let me first you see this is as of now inactive now that means this variables are not available in the current program method or class okay let me click f7 to go to previous program okay now i came back okay now you see this is active now okay there are three kind of st structures are available this yvbap yvbap contains the old item values anyways during creation of an order we don't see any entry in yvbap because uh, uh, it's a creation right so creation means everything new only in case of change of an order we might see the old value in yvb yvbap and a new value in xvbap okay so yvbap means old value xvbap means new value so xvbap is a structure structure contains n number of field here you see the structure contain so many field here item number material number description right uh, batch and the plant everything item category everything we have here the structure xvbap but we are not going to debug the structure value changes we are going to debug the field vstel shipping point value changes we are going to decide and determine how it's getting determined right that means we should focus on these two variable changes only not for the entire structure variable changes right so and in the map there are thousand programs will be triggered and it's it's not that much easy to go one by one program to understand where the shipping point will be determined it's not that much easy task right to avoid that uh, big problem sap provided one option that is watch point so break point means applying the break point immediately on the line where we can where we need, where we are expecting to apply breakpoint watch point means apply the breakpoint when or stop the uh, debugger when we see the value changed in the field okay let me what i can do i can ab, ab, apply watch point on vbap vstel and xvbap vstel so you might ask the question why we need to apply watch point on both xvbap and vbap vstel the reason here is that we don't know we don't know how the standard program works and which field it will update first either xvbap vstel or vbap vstel to avoid the confusion we should apply the breakpoint on both of the structures there is no harm in applying watch points in both of the structures nothing wrong here okay I have applied watch point here, and moreover, if you want to see how many variables that we have applied watch points, how to see that? You see, there's a one field tab called break and watch points, right? Just click this one, and uh, here we have three tabs: break points, watch points, checkpoint activations. Click watch points. You see, we have applied watch points on two fields as of now: VBAP VSTEL and XVBAP VSTEL, right? Now go to step three. So after applying the watch points, just click on F8. Continue. Hmm. You see here. Now the shipping point updated as ADS1 into the field VBAP VSTEL. And we should keep one more thing in our mind. The watch point will be stopped after the value updated in the field, not before updating the field. right okay we have we this is the program where we can see update in that shipping point field vstel but we want to see the logic basically right so and here line number above 48 there is one line called 40 set 32 here there is one function module you say function module just apply watch point in the line 32 and save it save it okay save it so inside this only the watch point has been getting determined okay save it and restart restart means restarting the application va01 
if reset means it will come to the initial screen again click on the enter go inside add soul to add po number and click on the enter now now add the material quantity as well okay earlier we don't know where in which place the shipping point will be updated right so that, that that's why we have applied breakpoint as slash h earlier this time we have already applied the breakpoint in the program this time we know that where it's coming from right we already applied the breakpoint now click on enter if we click enter means the breakpoint will trigger immediately again see the the debugger has been started now the very first time we don't know the program right now we understood the program this time directly going inside the program we need to again start from watch point right okay so one more thing i will have to tell you is that there are two tables relevant for shipping point so tvst for list of shipping points in the system so whatever shipping points available in the system those shipping points data can be seen in that tvst table and tvst z is the table which will be used to store the shipping point determination data if I execute this one you see we know right shipping point will be determined based on three parameters shipping condition loading group and plant the transaction code to define a shipping point is ovl2 yeah in ovl2 we can define the shipping points and the same can be this updated in the database table tvstz okay now let me go inside so how to go inside this code if i press f6 here it won't go inside right if i press f5 it means line by line single step it will go inside okay see this xvbap vstl and vbap vstl is not available in this program so that means this is a visibility the validity of this uh, variable is in the previous program not in this current program that's why it's inactive now you should remember this okay, let me click f6 now i don't want to go inside this piece of code here f6 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 uh, you see here as i mentioned earlier right tvst is a table yeah tvst is a table so standard program also getting the data from tvst is a table only by passing parameters works and uh, storage location as blank and loading group and shipping condition okay you may get a question how to see the values in the variable right so if i double click on the works so this is the technical field name for plant works double click here and you see the value in the field works and double click on uh, loading group is the valid triple zero three and shipping condition is zero two right so if you want to see values in any of the variables then just double click on that field okay and you see here is a sql query so whoever has some knowledge in the programming end c c plus plus java or whoever has computer background in their ug and pg they might easily connect this code programs if they have knowledge if they have a background as ba or b comments it will be very difficult but still it's not that much challenging with the, with our good practice we can learn and understand these programs not a big deal okay so right so it's getting the data from tvst is a table if i click f5 so it's updating the shipping point ads1 here if i click f7 f7 okay now you see it has been updated right so this is how we should understand and debug it how the values are getting determined so as a beginner in web debugging you should always go with the small small field value updation in the order or invoice in the part of the transaction code this is how we should start the debugging click me click f8 continue completely this one thing suppose if you want to debug the uh, determine how the sales group has been updated or how the 
pricing process are getting determined yeah here it is here here we can see that a v w a 0 1 so if you want to see how this is getting determined then again we should uh, click on f1 and this field pricing procedure and click on this uh, technical information this one and here we can see the table is vbak and field is kalsm so apply watch point on both vbak kalsm and xvbak kalsm apply watch point okay and remember so one more thing i would like to say here so first of all we have debugged about how shipping point will be determined so that will be determined after entering the material and quantity right but pricing procedure will be determined after clicking the sold to ship to combinations if i go to header you see it doesn't determine now that means so when we should apply the break point in case of a pricing procedure determination just go to vh one more time uh, yeah so now don't press enter right if enter means it will be determined so this is the right time to apply watch point now apply watch point now you can click enter because after entering sold to ship to po number only the pricing procedure will be determined so first we should understand when exactly it's going to determine then only we can apply the break point accurately so for each and everything the applying the break point might slightly vary for shipping point determination, we have applied the breakpoint after adding the material and quantity, right? Click on the enter and click on the breakpoint. Coming to pricing procedure header data, right? This should be debugged before clicking on the enter after entering the value sold to ship to and PO number. Hope I made it clear, right? If you still have some question queries, please do let me in the description. We will take it forward and discuss more about this debugging. Okay, thank you everyone. We'll speak in the next video.